Hello. I'm here to do a faux unboxing and review of the Apio Power Block Aqua Gel Sunspray. I'm not sure how to pronounce this, honestly, if it's Apio or Apio, I'm sure somebody will tell me at some point. But I'm calling it a faux unboxing because I have been using the sunscreen for the past three weeks. And I think that's a good enough time to be able to come and tell you how it has worked for my skin. You know, I would say I've used it for enough time in a typical Arizona summer to be able to say how it performs under different conditions. And yep, yeah, let's go ahead with this full unboxing. So it came in this package and yes, I saved the package just for this video. But it came in this package. Um, I ordered it from eBay and it came in the usual plastic UPS shipping shipping box. And I opened the box. This was pretty much how it came. I will go ahead and open it now. It's not very big. Um, yeah, it's not very big, but let's open it. Okay. And again, this is the power block. Not to be confused with the pure block, because while I was doing research on this sunscreen, a lot of the same results were popping up and they were results on the two different sunscreens. So I'm not sure why Google is pulling up different results for me. But I'm going to hold this up to the light to see if the bottle is you know, somewhat transparent enough for me to be able to see how much is left. So it looks like I have about this much left in the container. It's not really easy to see, but this is what you get when you open the, the packaging. I'm going to compare it to this bottle of black pepper that I have sitting here because I just ate lunch. And I'm going to just stop for a minute so you can look at my face. This is what my face looks like after wearing the sunscreen for pretty much a full day. It's uh, 3 p.m. It's about 3 p.m. right now. And I put it on at around 9 in the morning. I've reapplied it once since then, and this is the amount of glow, some would call it oil, that has come through. And it's pretty decent. I don't look dry, but at the same time I don't look greasy. And I have um, combination skin. I am a bit drier around my cheek area, and my T-zone can get oily, depending on how dry my skin is, which I know sounds like a contradiction. And I'm going to open it and put a small amount on my hand. The smell. It's not strong. I honestly can't tell you what it smells like. To me, it sort of smells like sunscreen, not American sunscreen. It does not smell like the typical sunscreen you would buy in a grocery store. It has, um, if you've used a few Asian sunscreens that aren't necessarily scented with, you know, flowers or essential oil or something of that nature, there is a certain scent that it has. But it dissipates once you put it on and, you know, it's had a few minutes to absorb into your skin the smell goes away. So it's not something. And another thing to mention is it doesn't smell like alcohol, which is very, which is very interesting. I'm not sure how they did that. But if you've used the Biore UV Watery Essence, you would know that that sunscreen smells like alcohol. But that also goes away at some point. Okay, so this is me putting it on. And smelling it again, the scent is already starting to dissipate. We'll bring my hand really close to the camera here. You're getting a close-up view of my dark circles. Mm -hmm. And just like that, it's pretty much gone. It's, it absorbs very quickly. So, on to, on to my thoughts. When I first got the sunscreen, after reading up on it, I 
had a feeling that it was it wasn't going to be that wasn't going to be too heavy because I was really looking for something that would not dry me out completely because I mean I, I live in Arizona it's very dry but at the same time I I wanted something lightweight and this summer I'm trying out different sunscreens that I have in the past because you know with my change of location moving from the Midwest where it's it's you know pretty humid it can get a bit humid to here where there is no humidity or very low humidity I needed something that would work differently for my skin and in summers past I've used the Biore that UV summer UV sun essence what is the name of that thing Biore the Biore UV essence if you google that it'll pop up I've also used the Nivea water gel, the Nivea sun water gel. I used that as well, but that belongs in the same category as the Bure one, so I didn't think it would work as well for me in this, you know, in this Arizona desert conditions. This thing is very, very interesting. The first time I used it, I put it on, I left, I was going grocery shopping very early in the morning. I put it on and it it disappeared. I was like, wow. I'm used to sunscreens and all of the cast, but it disappeared so quickly considering the fact that it's not, it doesn't come out of the bottle completely clear. It comes out, you know, this milky color that, as you can see, rubs in very easily. But I went out, looking back now, I can see why my experience was the way it was because I had just got up. I hadn't showered yet because I was going to shower when I got back from the store, and by the time I took the bus, went to the store, this was about you know, 40 minutes after I had put it on, I touched my face, and it felt very matte. My face felt as if I had just put on a mattifying primer, but I didn't feel dry, if that makes any sense. It was that matte feeling that, you know, when you put on a matte matte primer or you know a matte bb cream or something like that it was that same feel and it was it's not something i felt in a sunscreen before so that was very interesting to me the second time i used it you know my usual standard way of using it after i showered gotten dressed about to leave the house i put it on in the in front of the mirror and my face was purple and i was very confused like what on earth is going on why is my face purple but I rubbed it in, you see how quickly it rubbed in when I put it on my palm, you know, the back of my palm. I'm not sure why it's not as consistent because when I put it on my face, it goes on with a faint, very faint, you know, the longer I use it, it goes on with a faint purplish cast, but that's within the first five seconds of you putting it on. You put it on, the way I put on my sunscreen is I put it on one finger and a decent amount, of course, not just a tiny drop because that's not going to do anything for you. I put it on both cheeks, here, 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 nose, and two swipes on my forehead. And then I go in with two fingers on each hand to rub it in. By the time I'm done rubbing it in, in the maybe 10 seconds it takes to rub in, the purple cast is gone. So I'm not... I'll go back in and um, find the filters that are used. The filters are, from what I've read, they're quite good, but everything on the bottle is written in Korean, so I can't tell you what they are right now. So by the time I finish rubbing it in, the cast is gone. It just, you just look moisturized. But it's so lightweight, it is, within the first you know, minute of you putting it on, you forget that you put on anything. And that's exactly what I was looking for. I, I didn't want something that I would feel, like a sunscreen that I had used at the beginning of the summer, which I'll talk about in another, in another video. But it's very light. Reapplication is a breeze. I've been very bad about reapplying sunscreens because I just don't like putting them on. Some sunscreens, when they go on a second time, I guess due to the residue that's already on your face, they look ashy. Even if they are these sunscreens that you know typically wouldn't look ashy. This one... I reapplied it today while I was at a coffee shop. I was just sitting there at my table, pop pulled out my sunscreen and you know started putting it on my face. 
Reapplication was great. There was no cast. It went on as easily this time as it did the first time I put it on in the morning. And that's been pretty consistent since I've, start, I've been using it over these three weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I found the sunscreens that I will use this summer. Or I should, let me, let me not say just this summer. Depending on how the weather changes, even into fall and, you know, if my habits, my moisturizing and, you know, other skincare habits remain the same, I'm going to, you know, be using this. I actually really like it so far. I prefer it to the, the Biore UV Watery Essence. Now I get the name right. But I prefer it to that. It doesn't go on, you know, the Biore, it's like when you put it on your face, it disappears. It doesn't disappear within those first two seconds. This one, it takes about eight seconds to disappear. But when it does, it, it's that same feel of having nothing on your face. For people who don't like um, citrus essential oils, I think that's one complaint a lot of people have about the Biore one because it has some orange essential oil as one of the ingredients. This does not. And I will again go and hunt down those ingredients and put them in the description box so you can see what they are. This honestly doesn't really have a sense. It doesn't smell like anything identifiable other than, you know, a very light sunscreen. And I'm really, really enjoying it. I also got the the Pure Block, the Apio Pure Block to test out as well. You know, since I was getting the same results when I searched for either one of them, I figured let me just get the two of them and try them out. So that's a different video, but I am really, really, really liking this one. I'm going to go ahead and like order a backup towards the end of the month, because I don't know how long it's going to last. There isn't as much in here as you would think. They just give us this big bottle, so we somehow think that it's full when it's really not. But yeah, those are my thoughts on it. If you're looking for a sunscreen that's that's not drying, the pen and you're going to have to take this with a grain of salt, depending on what kind of skin you have. Like I said, I have combination I'm dry on my cheeks, I'm oily in the T zone when I'm dry. So I guess overall I have dry skin, but not desert. You know, I'm dying of thirst. Dry. So take that with a grain of salt. It's it would work if you are, if you're looking for something that's affordable. This was about eight dollars. I ordered it from a seller on eBay. It shipped from Korea, and it took two weeks, two weeks and about three days to get to me. So it was, it was actually quite quick. If you're looking for a sunscreen that is light, that you can reapply easily, that is accessible because it's all over the internet. Really, you can get it from a bunch of different sellers. And you're, you're not necessarily looking for something that will make you matte matte, because as you can see, I have some glow showing through and um, I'm not wearing foundation or anything, this is just you know, bare face with sunscreen. But if you kind of fall into that category of looking for a nice all-purpose sunscreen for your face and neck, I also use it on my neck, I would recommend this, I really like it. If after three weeks I've been using it and, you know, I haven't had any significant side effects, I don't think I will have any side effects, um, you know. And by side effects, I mean you know, unexpected sensitivity to the ingredients or anything. But really enjoying this. If you're interested, you can look it up, you know, read up on it a bit. And I'll just pull it up so you can see what the bottle looks like. It's 50 mils. I didn't mention that earlier. But it is 50 mils, your standard size for um, these Korean or Japanese sunscreen. This is Korean. So check it out. I will leave the full name in the description box. And I mean, if you're interested, I can also leave the direct link to the seller that I purchased it from on eBay. But like I said, just Google it and you'll find it from a bunch of different people. Okay, that's everything for this video. Um, keep an eye out for the other video for the Pure Block version. This is power block. Keep an eye out for the pure block video, and I will see you then. Bye for now.